Okay, so today, well first let me start off by saying, in CrossFit, everything that we do normally is either for time or for reps, right? We're trying to beat the clock or we're trying to beat each other, we're trying to beat ourselves, right? Today I'm gonna need you to turn that down a little bit, okay? Because we have two very complicated movements. We have the Turkish get up, and then we have a single arm overhead squat, okay? I'm gonna show you the Turkish get up first, and then I'll show you the overhead squat, and then also a variation we can do if we struggle with that, because it does require a lot of mobility. If you struggle with a normal overhead squat with two hands, you're probably gonna struggle with one hand. It's even harder. But there is something we can do, and we'll go over it. So I'm gonna go over step by step the Turkish get up and the overhead squat, and then I'm gonna have you guys go over the Turkish get up, and I will, I will call it out and break it down for you. Do the same for me, then. I saw it happen this time. All right. So the target is get up. You're gonna start lying on the ground. The goal is to get from the ground to a standing position and then back down to the ground. This is a very functional movement for life, okay? Whatever arm you're using, that same leg is up and that foot is planted on the ground. This arm is gonna stay extended the whole time. The elbow should never bend. From here, this arm's gonna be out at a 45. I'm gonna sit up onto this elbow. That's step one. Step two, I'm going to extend the elbow, press that hand to the ground. From here, I'm going to press this heel into the ground and lift my hips as high as I can. And they need to be high because i got to get this leg under and through. I'm trying to get to a lunge position. From here, you will stand. So I'll pick that hand up off the ground, stand up like I just did a lunge. Now this is the tricky part, you've got to go back down the same exact way you came up. So you're gonna step back into a lunge, put that knee on the ground, this arm's down to the ground. From here, I'm gonna press into the floor with this heel, slide that leg through, sit, back down to the elbow, and then back to the floor. Okay, one thing I don't wanna see is when you're coming back down, you just go, <laughs> okay? <laughs> don't fall, this is supposed to be very controlled. You go elbow, and then back down. Okay? When you get tired, what's probably gonna happen is one, that fall, and I'll call you out on it, don't worry. But two, you'll be here, and you'll... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pick up your hips. You gotta make a nice glute bridge, and make room for yourself to get that leg through. Okay? In the workout, you're doing five on one side, five on the other. That's going to take some time. So when you get to these Turkish get-ups, stop for a second and focus on what you're doing. Okay? This is not a movement you can rush. So it's ten total. Yeah, ten total. Make sure you've got room. Now, I'm going to call this out in order. Do not jump ahead. Do not rush. Wait for me to tell you what to do, okay? Go ahead, lie back, the overhead. Whatever arm you're using, you just use one. We'll wait, we'll do the workout, we'll get you a bigger one. All right, so whatever arm you're using, that leg is up and that foot is planted firmly on the ground. From here, I want you to press that dumbbell up to the side and come up to your elbow. Good, now from here, Extend that elbow and come on your hand. Keeping that elbow, I mean, keeping that dumbbell up the sky. Now, with the leg that's planted on the ground, I want you to push through that heel and lift your hips as high as we'll go. High, high, high. There we go. Now, bring that leg back and through and try to get to a lunge. Still keeping that hand on the ground. Still keep your hand on the ground. Not there yet. Okay. All right. Now, lift the hand. Sit up nice and tall, and stand. Good. All right, now we gotta go back down the way we came. So send that leg back again into a lunge position. Put on your knee. Go ahead, put the hand on the ground. Press through the heel, lift the hips, slide that leg back through out in front of you. Good, sit on your butt, down to your elbow, and then back to the floor. Very good. I need a mat. Go ahead, switch arms. We're gonna do the other arm. Is there a time cap for the second one? There is. There is a time cap in the workout. Just making sure. All right, we're ready? We're going to be here. Go ahead, sit up to your elbow. Hand. Sit up to your hand. Lift the hips. Slide the leg back and through. Find that lunge position. Get it, you get it. Good. Go ahead. Sit tall. And stand. Very nice. 
leg through, out in front, sit on your butt, elbow, and then back to the ground. All right, how do we feel about that? It's still in that. All right, good workout. Like I said, you're gonna have to shut off that go, 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 beat the clock, beat the clock. Shut, turn it down, don't shut it off, turn it down. Now that doesn't mean take a five minute break and clear yourself. Okay, you still, you still gotta keep working. But on these movements, I want you to take the time and focus on quality. So the workout is spot. Yes, ma'am. The Turkish get up, does that feel like really fast? No. It's supposed to be step, 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 step by step. Uh, there's an old saying in, in Chinese weightlifting, and Chinese weightlifters are the best in the world. They almost never get beat. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So you do things slow to learn to be smooth, and then when you become smooth, you learn to go fast. Smooth is fast. So think about that sometimes when you do complicated movements. Slow, smooth, smooth, fast. 